Hi everyone. In this video, we would like to clarify this difference between one-tail and two-tail test. Number of research scholars, they are asking me, ma'am, what is the difference between one-tail and two-tail test? Where we are going to apply one-tail and where we are going to apply two-tail test? One-tail test allow for the possibility of an effect in one direction. Two-tail test for the possibility of an effect in two directions, positive and negative. You can see here, this is the normal distribution curve, the bell-shaped curve, and either on the left side or towards the right side. If there is the possibility of an effect in one direction only, either on the left side or towards the right side, where is we are going to apply one tail test. But when there is no direction, so we are going to apply two tailed test. Now, one tail test refer to a test of null hypothesis in which the alternate hypothesis is articulated directionally. Here the critical region lies only on one tail. However, if the alternative hypothesis is not exhibited directionally, then it is known as the two-tail test of the null hypothesis, wherein the critical region is one, both the tails, either on the negative side or towards the positive side. In this statistical hypothesis test, all the critical region related to alpha is placed in any one of the two tails. One tail test can be either left tail test or towards the right tail test. Left tail test means when the population parameter is believed to be lower than the assumed one, the hypothesis test carried out is the left tail test. But right tail test, when the population parameter is supposed to be greater than the assumed one, the statistical test conducted is the right tail test. So two tail tests, where we are going to apply two tail tests, two tail tests in a statistics is a method in which the critical area of our distribution is two-sided. The test, whether a sample is greater than or less than, a certain range of values. It is used in null hypothesis testing and testing for statistical significance. That means it would define a certain range of values. It could be fall in both side, positive side as well as negative side. I had tried to explain you on the basis of some attributes what is the difference between one tail and two tail? When we talk about the hypothesis, in one tail, that would be directional, either positive side or towards the negative side. That would be lower side or towards the higher side. That would be greater than sign or lesser than sign. But in the two tail, that is non-directional. There is no direction, whether it's the positive side, negative side, there's the no direction. Meaning, a statistical hypothesis test in which alternative hypothesis has only one and is known as one tail test. On the contrary, a significance test in which alternative hypothesis has two ends is called two tailed test. Rejection region. In the one tail test, that would fall either towards the left side or towards the right side. But two-tailed test, that would fall both side. Result, greater or less than certain value. But it would be in, towards the two-tailed side, greater or less than certain range of the values. But in the one-tailed test, there is no range. Either it would be falling towards the lesser side or towards the greater side. Alternate hypothesis, here is that would have either greater than sign or lesser than sign. That means that is a unidirectional. I mean, there would be direction. Either it would be greater than or it would be lesser than. But two-tailed hypothesis, alternate hypothesis would be have not equal to sign. You can see here, this is the not equal to sign. This is the, no, I'm just taking my, this pan. Let me select, right. That is the, you can see here, uh, not equal to. But here is either greater than sign or it would be 
lesser than sign. That is one tail test. Level of significance here, the entire level of significance that is 5% has either in the left tail or right tail towards the one side. But in the two tail test, it is splits the level of significance into half, means 5%, right? And that would be point, point zero, um, point two five percent would be on the left side and rest of these towards the right side. Mean comparison. It is used to check whether the one mean is different from another mean. But two tail test, it checks the relationship between the relationship between the variables in any direction. So one tailed and two tailed test. In the one tailed test, the alternative hypothesis is represented directionally. Conversely, the two tailed test is a non directional hypothesis testing. Next difference one tailed test, as the name suggests, is the statistical hypothesis test in which the alternative hypothesis has a single end. On the other hand, two-tailed test implies the hypothesis test wherein the alternative hypothesis has dual ends. When an alternative hypothesis has not equal to sign, then a two-tailed test is performed. On the contrary, alternative hypothesis has greater than or less than sign, the one-tailed test is carried out. We can see here. Finally, we can say if direction scaring then apply one tail test, but if hypothesis does not have directions, then apply two tail test. So I'm sure this is clear through this well shaped curve where we are going to apply one tail test and where we are going to apply two tail test. You can see here that is towards the both side 68%, 95%, and 99%. You can see here. And uh, from both sides, and you can see 95%. So that means 0 0.025 towards the left side and 0 0.025 towards the right side. And these are critical values. So I'm sure you understand where we are going to apply one tail test and where we are going to apply two tail test. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.